What's up guys, my name is Technobo and welcome back to a new video. So today I'm going to show you guys how you can measure the network speed between two computers, whether that's on a wireless network or a LAN cabled network, such as through a router or through a switch. So why exactly would you want to do this? Well, if you bought a gigabit network switch or a router and you want to see if it's actually a gigabit because you got it a bit on the cheap, you can go ahead and use this method to see if it's actually giving you what they sold it to you as. Or, of course, there's another option, that's if you're using a wireless network, you can always find out the most optimal position to put your laptop and or the router to give you the best speed and stability. So, obviously, make sure that the two computers that you're going to use have the ability to reach certain network speeds. You'll usually find that on either the motherboard's hand document or by googling it, or if you're using a laptop, it's probably written somewhere in that manual or on the internet. Just make sure that you can handle the internet speeds on both of the computers before you go ahead and test the network. So I have a gigabit switch that I bought pretty much on the cheap and I want to see if it's actually giving me a gigabit network connection because if I'm going to be hosting videos on one computer and editing them on another, which is pretty much what I want to do using a network attached storage and NAS, I want to see if I can actually do that and high bit rates and make sure that it works smoothly and stably. So first of all, in the description down below, hit the first link and download LANBENCH. Go ahead and hit the download now button and then wait for it to complete. Go ahead and hit open with or save. Make a new folder. Then go ahead and drag and drop everything into the new folder and run LANBENCH.exe. Then go ahead and download this, extract it and run it the same way that you did on this PC on your second PC on the same wireless network or LAN network or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Once it's done, on your second computer, go ahead and hit Listen. Go back to your main computer, hit File, Configure, and then type in the server address of your second computer. So to find that out, go to your second PC, start R, CMD, enter, IP config, and then go ahead and find the connection that you're on. I'm using Ethernet, i.e. LAN, so this will be my IP address that I'll type in on my main computer. If you're using wireless, it'll be wireless LAN or whatever, but it will be your IPv4 address, which is this one, usually starting with 192.168. Go ahead and type that in on your main PC, 192.168.1.5, that's mine. And then leave the port as the same, as long as your second PC says 8998. Then go ahead and either change the test duration or leave it as is. I like sending it to 20 seconds and then hit OK. And then you'll pretty much see straight away the exact speed of your network, pushing it to its max between these two computers. If there's other computers on the network transferring data, it may be different. But if you have just two computers plugged into the network or connected to the same wireless network, this will give you the most accurate result. The longer it goes, the more accurate the average will be. So my gigabit router is hitting about 732 megabits per second and 690 megabits per second on the way back. So it's around about 700 out of the 1000 megabits that they promise when they sell it as a gigabit router. So obviously that's not too great, but it was pretty cheap and it's more than enough for my specific needs. Usually, the more expensive routers and or switches will be better than the cheaper ones, but there's no way to tell for sure until you actually get it in your hands and give it a try for yourself. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. My name has been Technobo, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.